Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us, sentiment in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope everybody's doing well. So today I want to talk about some things that are going on in the music industry. In the music industry, authenticity is key. And fans want to believe that their favorite artists are genuine, real. But what happens when people start to feel like some of their most favorite musicians are not? The concept of an industry plant has been around for years. It refers to a musician who is believed to have gained success, not solely based on their talent and hard work, but rather due to industry connections, marketing strategies, and financial backing from record labels and other industry entities. In the rap industry specifically, some artists have been accused of being industry plants, meaning that their rise to fame may have been manufactured by the industry rather than their own organic homegrown talent. Accusations of being an industry plan are often fueled by rumors and speculations, but some artists have been confirmed as industry plants by insiders through leaked information. However, it's worth noting that not all successful artists in the rap industry who have backing from labels or industry connections are necessarily industry plants. Some have still worked hard to home their craft and build their fan base, and the industry support has simply helped them to reach a wider audience. Case in point, Chance the Rapper. Ultimately, the label of being an industry plant is very subjective and can be a difficult thing to prove. It's often up to the audience to decide for themselves whether they believe an artist's success is genuine or fully manufactured. So today we're going to talk about Ice Spice, who has been accused of being an industry plant ever since she hit the scene in 2022. The success of Ice Spice is currently raising a lot of speculation. And she has already gained the support of big name people like Drake, Cardi B, and Nicki Minaj. Her hit single peaked at number five on the Billboard's Top 100. However, despite all the hype and momentum, her success isn't quite translating as suspected. A lot of Twitter users are pointing out that when she performs live, there seems to be a lot of lackluster audience participation during her live performances. Problem with TikTok, you know, one part of the song and the rest is just thrown out the window. In March of 2021, Ice Spice went viral on TikTok after doing the Erica Banks Busted Challenge. She had already been thinking about making music and was talking to a producer. Ice Spice dropped four more tracks and quickly gained a significant buzz, landing her number five on the billboard. Despite accusations of being an industry plant, she has denied these rumors and claims that her rise to fame was completely organic. In August 2022, Drake slid into her DMs and basically was telling her that he liked her music and her freestyle was hard. Now, both camps claimed that the DM was accidentally leaked, which to me is suspicious because how does a DM accidentally leak? But anyways, because of this DM, she went viral again. Soon after that, he booked a date with her and they were spotted in Toronto. However, not even 24 hours after their date, Drake unfollowed Ice Spice on Instagram, leading to rumors and speculations about their relationship and Ice Spice's authenticity. A lot of people started saying that maybe Drake was trying to sign her to OVO. He came to the conclusion that it was a label that fabricated her rise and it wasn't really her organic talent. Now, although there's been no official statement, it does appear that Drake was upset. Niggas asking if I'm cool, I'm upset. Okay? And basically has not fooled with Ice Spice since. And even Ice Spice doesn't really have a real rebuttal for why Drake gave her the cold shoulder. Um, she was asked about this in a recent interview and she really has no idea. It's been speculated that Drake unfollowed you afterwards. Do you want to tell us some tea on that? He did. I don't know why though. Oh. <laughs> Shame on you, Drake. Shame on you. You shouldn't have done that. It's okay, though. It's She's okay. out it's, here. It's all love. 
Now, what's really interesting about Ice Spice is that the person who is her producer slash manager is a young man named Riot USA. Now, Riot USA and Ice Spice went to the same school, and he's the one who encouraged her to start making music. He helped create her first song and developed her sound which led her to go viral on Twitter. He also helped gain her traction on SoundCloud. Now it turns out after doing some digging that Riot USA is connected heavily in the music industry. His birth father is the legendary radio DJ, DJ Enough, who works at Hot 97. He's also Hot 97's mix show coordinator. The connection helped Ice Spice get attention, eventually leading her to signing to a label called 10K Projects. Now, 10K Projects, that label is owned by Elliot Grange, and he's the son of Lucian Grange, who is the head of UMG, who is one of the most powerful men in the music industry. So it's very clear at this point that Ice Spice's success is not just due to the fact that she lucked up and had a viral video, but rather a full marketing campaign from major record labels are behind her. On top of that, a lot of people are pointing out that her racial ambiguity is also helping in her success. Now, if you guys remember rapper Chica, who was on the 2020 Double XL Freshman cover, she tweeted recently about how the industry loves a mid light skinned rapper. And this sparked a lot of debate about colorism and hip hop in the entertainment industry in general. A lot of people were also saying that Ice Spice is getting the Cardi B treatment um, and that ever since she arrived on the scene, she's basically basically the younger version of Cardi B. And a lot of people have commented that a lot of darker skinned women have to work twice as hard and be even more talented to achieve the level of success that artists like Ice Spice are getting. Ice Spice is considered a drill rapper from the Bronx, but there are even more hardcore drill rappers in their darker skin like Kenzo B and Shani Bonnie, and they rap really good. They have not gotten half of the excess or exposures Ice Spice. One of my favorite chocolate girls is Amara. Y'all know I love me some Amaretta. Um, you know, Amaretta is extremely talented. Her flow is sick. She's from Atlanta. And Amaretta is still struggling to really break mainstream. And I've been rooting for her now for the past few years. And it's like she's kind of stuck. Whereas Ice Spice has come out of nowhere. And she's on the billboard. She's doing her thing. So I definitely do feel like colorism does play a part in everyday society, not just the music industry, not just entertainment, but in the real world as well. And as a dark skinned woman myself, you do have to work a lot harder than your light skinned counterparts. That's just facts. I don't care what anybody says about that. No hate, no shade. It's just facts. I know what I've been through on this platform. Oh, my life I had to fight. Compared to some of my lighter skinned sisters, and they definitely have had it a lot easier. But with that being said, the entertainment industry, regardless, they lie heavily on an artist's image and lightness, and they have to be marketable. And Ice Spice, she does have a killer body. You know, she has that vixen shape. She's thick, small waist, big butt. So that definitely helps her as well. And her look is very different. She has like this, you know, she has like this orphan Annie you know afro thing going on and I love it and I think that being a part of her signature style helps to make her stand out as well because you don't see too many light-skinned girls with a curly afro now Ice Spice's recent collaboration with UK artist Pink Panthers on the remix of Boys Alaya debuted at number 14 on the Billboard's Hot 100 and ultimately they peaked all the way up to number three so they are definitely doing their thing Ice Spice recently performed at Rolling Loud where she received a lot of positive response from the audience. And there was even some lunatic who also had a red afro who was screaming and going crazy. And I think this man, AKA the redhead lunatic that they were calling him on Twitter was also an industry audience plant. Check this out. <laughs> But either way, like I said, The Boy's Alaya is on fire and people really do like that song. So in general, it is a lot harder for female hip hop artists to break through the mainstream given the industry's misogynistic past and male domination. But hopefully Ice Spice's warm welcome to the industry that has helped her succeed so quickly 
Hopefully this will mean that people are being more open-minded towards female rappers in the future. So what do y'all think about this? What do you guys think is the reason and the success for Ice Spice? Do you believe that it's due to her being racially ambiguous? Or do you feel like it's her connection to Riot USA and the label that she signed to under Elliot Grange? Or do you feel like at the end of the day, it's the fact that she knows how to use her sex appeal and she has a fat ass. So, you know, as long as you're sexy and you have a fat ass, people are going to tune in. I'm definitely a munch. I'm just letting you know. I'm definitely a munch. I'm just saying. So let me know y'all's thoughts on Ice Spice. I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Do you guys feel like she's an industry plant or do you feel like homegirl got it out the mud like everybody else? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Leave a comment. Make sure to hit me with that like and also make sure you still subscribe to the channel. Talk to y'all later. Deuces. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.